Hello world, welcome to Jammies and Jesus. My name is Marie, also known as Marie the Magnificent, and by also known as, you know that's what I call myself. Um, today I thought I would read a piece that I wrote a few months ago and I put on my personal Facebook page, but I haven't shared it with you, my uh, Jammies and Jesus family. And I thought with everything that's going on in the world right now, that this might be timely. So this is called The Last. Most of our lives, we never know when the last of something will come. It's the mystery that is life, the not knowing. It should prompt us to give all that we have, if it's the last time. It should prompt us to ring out every moment with the people we love and the places we cherish. The last comes lightning fast sometimes. The last can be excruciating, a living death of lasts. Either way, when the last comes, no matter Prepared or not, the vastness of the emptiness inside comes as a shock. It really was the last. The last kiss, the last hug, the last present, the last look, the last, ever, never again. The finite moment just fades away and then there is just memories. Coping with the lasts is where grief chokes us. We don't want to last. And now we're stuck with it forever. Forever and no aim in. Silence. The silence is so loud it nearly bursts the eardrums. It is so loud that people try to speak to you and, and you don't hear. You pretend you do. Nodding, tears, accepting hugs or compassion from people but the silence, it is so deafening. The last, the last, the last. It echoes throughout our hearts and our souls. The last, the last, the last. You can't escape it. You can't go back. And right now, in that moment, you can't go forward. You're just looking inside your mind at the last. God help me. The silence and the pain is crushing me. It is strangling my spirit. God, do you hear this keening? Do you see me sitting shiva at the death of what I had that is now gone, never to be again? My arms are empty. My heart is disintegrating with the tears of my grief. God, reach me, pick me up, and cradle me. I need your hope. I need to know that the last that it will not be the last of me. I need to feel your peace surround me and rock me to sleep. God gently and softly says, my dearest one, the last is not the end. Now look ahead for the next first. Solomon was correct. To everything there is a season. Our lives are seasons. Some love summer and mourn when the winter comes. Others love the cold and brace themselves for the heat. We need all of it. The soft, the hard, the warm, and the cold in order to grow. We can endure the lasts because we know that one day there will be a final last. The trumpet will sound and in that moment, the last of the pain, sorrow, loss, and longing will disappear. In those lingering moments of fear for the, of the lasts, the truth of first seems so far and faint, but there will be more firsts. So many first joys that the enemy of your soul wants you to tumble into the darkness of never again. After all, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So take heart and be of courage. With Jesus at your side, you can walk through the lingering sorrow and into the first once again. So I encourage you, if you are going through the last, the grief is crushing you. 
and maybe on this earth, it was the last with someone that you love, there will be a first again. It's just delayed. We all take turns. And if you are suffering with the lasts of a relationship or job loss or whatever the last is in your life, I can tell you, when you let go of the last and you stop looking over your shoulder, you will be utterly amazed at the firsts that are yet to come. So until next time, world, stay cozy. Healing is better when, you, when you're comfy. Bye. I think they're gone. So if you're here now and you waited this long, hey, hit that like button. Subscribe, join the cool kids who hang out in their pajamas. And um, also just know that this is literally the ninth version of this video that I did today. So there you go. Another noise and I am not stopping at 6.43 seconds. Be good to yourself. Be easy with yourself. And I'll see you soon. Bye, world.